Even one of the nicest hosts on TV has a mischievous side. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 pranks on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. <laughs> for this list, we are focusing on pre-planned and recurring pranks and skits featured on the talk show, instead of simply great standalone moments. <laughs> Number 10. Ellen in Steve Harvey's ear. You gotta kick it in the front. In the front, in the back. Then in the back. And then the back. Ellen loves getting in her guests' heads, literally. As you'll see throughout the list, she loves sending celebrities into the public with an earpiece and telling them exactly what to say. On Steve Harvey's talk show, the Ask Steve segment is usually one for humorous yet insightful answers to audience questions. In this 2013 crossover episode of sorts, Steve was asked about life, love, and friendship. He answered by demonstrating the high kick of life, talking about his teeth brushing iguana and admitting to a dryer lint mustache. My mustache is fake. It's made out of dryer lint. And it's made, out, it's made out of dryer lint. From his answers to the audience's reactions and Steve's constant failures to keep a straight face, it's almost impossible to decide which part is the funniest. Dark chocolate is a guilty pleasure of mine. Are you calling and me dark I chocolate? Was wondering are you, wait, wait, wait. Are, are you calling me dark chocolate? <laughs> Number 9. Amy Talks the Lyrics at Costco I just met you. I know this is crazy, but um, here's my number. Call me, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to speak to you. Amy Rhodes, a.k.a. Writer Amy, isn't your average Ellen staffer. Amusement park rides, haunted houses, dining in the dark. Ellen will send writer Amy just about anywhere to do just about anything. One of Ellen's favorite skits has Amy talking in song lyrics to strangers. Customers at Michael's, Lowe's, and Banana Republic have been Amy's unwitting victims. In 2013, Amy was sent into Costco, armed with the lyrics for Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe, Lionel Richie's Hello, and the Spice Girls' Wannabe. I wanna ha, I wanna ha, I wanna ha, I wanna really, really wanna zig a zig ha. A what? Zig a zig ha? Zig a zig ha? While it could be considered equal parts cringe-inducing and hilarious, the sweetest moment may be when she talked the lyrics of Katy Perry's Teenage Dream to an old man, and it makes his day. <laughs> Number 8. Jennifer Aniston's Bicycle I'm surprising Ellen with this bike. Okay. I'm surprising Ellen with this bike. Isn't that fun? Isn't, Isn't that, that fun? Cool? We don't know what exactly influences Ellen DeGeneres. But you've got to think she spent a good deal of her youth watching Candid Camera, the hidden camera show that began airing on TV in 1948 and last ran in 2014. Yes, this road. My, my driveway? Well, you may call it that, but we call it a road. There doesn't seem to be a room on Ellen's set without a hidden camera. And there doesn't seem to be an A-list celebrity not willing to serve as her partner in crime. In 2012, Jennifer Aniston repeated everything Ellen said in response to Skippy, an unwitting young man merely delivering Jennifer a bike. First lady? First of all, I'm no lady. I'm no lady. Let's get that straight. It's hard not to feel bad for the guy, who was greeted by an eccentric, bird-calling, flirty, back-scratch requesting Aniston. It's also hard not to crack up laughing. Cheep, 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 like this. That's what a fidget sounds like. Cheep, cheep, if you heard a fidget, cheep, 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 cheep. Number seven, David Beckham's hidden camera fun. Right now, I don't want to be David Beckham. I want to just relax. Can you call me Ricky? Can you call me Ricky? Let's say you're a masseuse and open the door to see the football superstar David Beckham. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for 2015 is your new client. People tell me I have a skin like baby peaches. You know, people tell me sometimes that I have skin like baby peaches. A great day, right? Well, probably not if you're Simo, a very unsuspecting masseuse who has an appointment with Bex, who wants to be called Ricky. It's hard not to think that Simo has seen it all in her career, as she doesn't raise an eyebrow when the footballer requests a very gentle, thumb-free singing massage. I really don't like thumbs. It's not until Bex points out the hidden camera that Simo starts to laugh along with us. What's your favorite song? <laughs> um, I, um, I could sing Happy Birthday. I like Happy Birthday. Number six, Ellen scares a new staffer. We have a new uh, employee here at our show. Her name is Allison, and I wanted to give her something. The first day at the new job is always nerve-wracking. At the Ellen DeGeneres show, it can be downright frightening. Allison joined Ellen's staff during the 2010 holiday season, and Ellen was in the giving mood. Oh no, not gifts or candy canes. 
She was in the mood for giving scares. Taking a page out of Charles Dickens' novella A Christmas Carol, the very unscrooge-like Allison is visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. But these ghosts aren't showing Allison scenes from her life. They are giving her perhaps the three most heart-jolting scares she's ever had. In the end, she laughs and so do we. <laughs> Number 5. Hidden Camera Pranks with Jennifer Lopez Be startled when he walks in. How's it going? Sc scream. Oh. Scream. Ah! ah hi! Oh. Oh. Job interviews. We've all had those horrible ones where an interviewer isn't really listening, asks flop sweat-inducing questions, and looks at you like there's no chance you'll get the job. Well, times that by about a million, and you may understand how two candidates felt being interviewed by Jennifer Lopez to be her personal assistant. Okay, so are you intimidated by a strong, beautiful, proud Latina woman? No, absolutely not. Great, 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 great. great, great. JLo has been on the Ellen DeGeneres show many times, but probably none funnier than this January 2011 hidden camera appearance. Yet another A-list celeb with Ellen in her ear, Jenny from the blog can't stop talking about herself, her beauty, and how famous she is. I was just thinking about how famous I am. <laughs> thinking about how famous I am. <laughs> the prank is so funny that Ellen giggles uncontrollably, and Lopez strains herself not to break character. Chocolate is my obsession. <laughs> <laughs> Number 4. Adele pranks Jamba Juice employees. Hello from the outside. Hello, it's Adele, and she wants a Jamba Juice. Early in 2016, Ellen was in Adele's ear as she rolled in to get a smoothie. And let's just say she tested the mantra that the customer is always right. I'll take a large, okay. but can I have it in a small cup? Large and small cup. Yeah. Yes, please. In full diva mode, Adele asks for a large drink and a small cup, chops off some wheatgrass that she gnaws on, imitates a deer, has her hair brushed, knocks out straight amaretto, and dumps out her purse packed with knives, twizzlers, and handcuffs. It's incredible how much side-splitting strangeness is packed into about five minutes. Part of what makes it a riot is it's the last thing we'd expect from one of music's most fan-friendly superstars. I think you're really good, actually. All right. Number three, Dennis Quaid is here. Hey, Dennis. Yes? You can hear me then, I guess. Yes, I can hear you. Is my hidden camera working, I wonder? Dennis Quaid is here. About seven years before his famous hidden camera meltdown hoax, This is garbage! Quaid let Ellen be his voice while ordering at Starbucks. And let's just say he brings a level of eccentricity we expect more from his brother Randy. Quaid bursts in, loudly announcing his arrival. Dennis Quaid is here! Actually, he loudly announces everything. Dennis Quaid wants his spice latte decaf at 140 degrees. Dennis Quaid demands the barista sing day out with him. And Dennis Quaid gives the mouthwash treatment to a cup of water. Oh, did we mention he does it all in third person? Can I get some water? Dennis Quaid wants water. Dennis Quaid wants water. This 2008 three-minute masterpiece became one of a series of classic DeGeneres and Dennis hidden camera collaborations. Uh, you've been a really good sport. What is your name? Oz. Oz. Yes. And uh, you're actually on The Ellen Show right well, now. Wow. In fact, all of you are on Number two, Sofia Vergara's hidden camera. I don't remember. The dogs are running in Texas. The dogs. <laughs> With five Golden Globe and four Emmy nods, we know that Sofia Vergara is a great actress. But a couple of employees in a Warner Brothers backlot store also did some stellar acting when the Modern Family star stopped by in this 2010 episode. With Ellen calling the shots, Vergara reenacts moments from her current serious cinematic turn in When the Dogs Are Running and Horses Are Silent. I don't remember. The dogs are running in Texas. Thankfully, the film is fake, as her overacting seems more destined for Golden Raspberries than for Oscars. The staffers do their best to be encouraging as Sophia cries, gallops around like a horse, and talks with what may be the worst Texas twang of all time. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one choice, here are a few honorable mentions. Um, can I just have a grande iced coffee it's and sweet? It's not called grande anymore, it's granda. It's not called grande anymore, it's called granda. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. And you agreed that we didn't edit or do anything to this footage at all. That's right. Number one, Ellen scares celebrities. <laughs> I'm a spider. I don't like spiders. Okay, we know this is a bit of a cheat, but if we broke out all of Ellen's celebrity scares individually, it might take up the whole list. <laughs> Music superstars, our favorites from TV, movie star heartthrobs, and comedy legends. Kind of. <laughs> Ellen is an equal opportunity destroyer. No bathroom is safe, 
No side table is just a side table. And if Ellen gets wind of your fear, you're toast. And then <laughs> However, one of the best scares came when Steve Carell turned the tables on the prank queen, striking a blow with all of Ellen's scare victims. I couldn't think of anyone better to share my 900th show with. Please welcome. I love you, oh, yeah! Do you agree with our list? Which one of Ellen's pranks is your favorite? Jenny from the block loves pretzels. Jenny from the block loves pretzels. For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Day -o, day -o. <laughs> <laughs>